Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the BSL 18 Hasu League Finals. Bottom right in corner, we got none other than Raj starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom left in corner, we got Tucson starting as the red Terran. This is going to be on Radeon, one of those larger maps. And we'll see how this goes because Tucson has shown some really, really good... I wonder if they're playing on shield battery, which is what the SB is for. And I'm wondering if they're seeing lag. This is Chile to uh, Russia, I believe, as far as the distance. I'm wondering if they're saying go to shield battery. We'll have to see. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that being said, lag could be a factor. As far as play styles, Raj has shown some really, really strong macro in the mid game. I will say in the light mid game, it hasn't mattered that he's just kind of been a little bit more relaxed, I would say, as far as a lot of the engagements and donating troops. I don't know that he can get away with that versus Tucson, because Tucson's macro has really, really been sharp this season. I said previous seasons that Tucson's one of those guys that when he's playing his best, I could see him taking a final. So we'll see if this is his season. Raj is one of those guys that more often than not is ending up in Pro League. Goes to League or Pro League sometimes. On occasion, has he been in Pro League? I think he's been in Pro League. I wonder if Tucson's actually been up in Gosu League as of yet. I'm sure he, I mean, after this season, I, I believe the top four players advanced regardless under new rules. So we'll see. Anyway, we are seeing a barracks opener on one side. We're going to see a 12 Nexus, the dreaded cross bond 12 Nexus. Well, actually not cross bond. I feel like on Radeon, it invites a 12 Nexus. And I'm a little bit surprised to see Tucson going for gas here. It's a huge map and four players. So I think you have to expect it. So we'll see if Tucson is going to just go standard three Marine into Vulture uh, expansion, which will put him economically behind. The other option is he is going to get first scout here. And that does provide a lot of options to go ahead. And uh, Terran these days really have started putting a lot of options in their build order to counter 12 Nexus, uh, 12 Nexus, it, I cannot say that for, self, for some reason, 12 Nexus itself. So spots it, SCV doing a little bit of uh, damage. We do have three SCV hanging out there. One of them pulling off. It looks like it is just going to be a factory drop right this second. First Marine in construction. So things looking a little bit normal here for Tucson as though instead of a reaction, second Marine is queued up. I have to imagine for Tucson that this is an adjustment into some sort of aggression. We have double gateway and a cybernetics core being built. First scout from Raj as well, saw that factory building, recognized, okay, I can skip additional zealots potentially, because I'm not going up against a, a big marine flood. But as I say that, we've got eight SCV pulling off the line, trailing two marines and a ninth SCV on the field. Probes pulling out to go ahead and saturate the natural expansion. Three of them making their way forward to go ahead and try to push back this Marine. And they're going to be in for a big surprise. Now spotting that second Marine, having to turn right back around. One Zealot was queued up. We have the cybernetic score, but it's going to be one Zealot to try to halt all of this. He needs to get on top of that SCV building the bunker. Right now, third and fourth Marine on the way. A probe that was blockading has been wiped out. The Zealot might be able to get on top of that SCV, but it is instead, yeah, going for reinforcements, taking some damage as a result. The bunker is finished. And all three Marines look like they're going to be able to get into that bunker. And that Zealot heavily damaged as it's sitting on that back edge. We also have a machine shop drop behind this, by the way. The SCV's going to pull out. We do have two Dragoons up on the high ground. The SCV not going to be able to get... Additional scouting. Let's see if two... Yeah, an SCV. Never mind. A Vulture and a Marine going to plant back. So that's a dead Nexus. And the Vulture going to be able to wander into the main. Raj also in the red here. So a rough opening for him. The Vulture's finally making the way back. How many probes does he lose for the effort? So at least two are down. And these are Dragoons that are getting drawn away from... The natural expansion... All the SCVs making their way back. I don't even know if there was an SCV kill there. So Tucson with the overall worker lead now. Four Dragoons on the front. The Marines should just walk away now. Walk away, you did your job, but it looks like they're going to stay here. 
sacrifice their lives for the cause, like true patriots. Trying to focus fire down something. Yeah, trying to weaken the one dragoon they can. Vulture gonna scoot out, maybe wait for that mine upgrade. It looks like mine's about halfway finished. No expansion yet from Tucson, by the way. Has instead invested in additional mines, additional marines on the forward field. Second Nexus dropped. He still does have that economic lead. So bunker up. Not sure what's with this uh, SCV transfer. Maybe worried about a counterattack, which would be formidable. But right now, Raj just playing defensively as far as the turnaround. Robotics dropped. Maybe going to wait for range before he starts pushing out. Three vultures out in the field. Three, uh, three mines on the forward position. Probe's going to cycle back out. Let's see if this turns into two, two gate observer. Is possible. I'm expecting actually more robotic support bay after losing that initial nexus. Command center being built. This is still going to be an economic lead actually at the end of the day for Raj. Protoss can get away with everything. Vulture not stopping that initial worker. It's going to check out the six o'clock. I think it was, was he thinking about grabbing a quick third? Is getting intercepted and at least able to spot there's not a quick third from Tucson, which would have been absolutely insane. We are seeing a shuttle built initially. Observatory first. So it looks like it's going to be shuttle observer, then potentially reaver. As far as a follow-up, mine's already getting, uh, maybe upon seeing that probe walk out, an alert for Tucson to go ahead and get that third base mined up sooner rather than later. Still no siege tanks out on the front. This is going to be the first siege tank at near a seven minute mark, by the way. And no siege tech upgrade. Instead, fast vulture speed. Command center is up and it looks like we're going to see a drop as well from Tucson. So control tower being constructed. I have to guess this is going to be for a vulture drop. There's the observer. This is the support bay underneath here. So it's going to be a pretty late reaver drop, although I don't know if Tucson's really going to pay for it because he's probably going to have three siege tanks out easily by the time and some turrets easily by the time Raj is making his way out that direction. It will provide some defense against maybe a larger factor account in the mid game for Tucson, but Tucson thus far sitting at the single factory instead is going to go for the economic damage. So let's see if the, so some mines getting cleared on the front. This might actually work out pretty well for Tucson because the, it's going to go again, observer, reaver, no second observer. And the second observer is moving forward to clear these mines, which means there's not an additional observer out in the field to be able, first of all, to be able to spot, uh, spot the dropship, although the probe's going to see it. Are the dragoons reacting? Okay, now they're reacting. Additional question, I don't know if there's any mines left. Vultures still going to be able to get a worker. I don't know that this is worth a dropship, though. Still going to be okay for Tucson. Ending up with an economic lead after killing a few of these troops. Also spotted the Reaver on his way across. Plopping down a second factory and getting that turret in place. The shuttle's already on the way, though, with the two Zealots. So that's going to be well before this turret's there. Three siege tanks moving up towards the main. Third siege tank, I'm not sure where it's going. Engineering Bay just moving forward, saying, yes, I do in fact see you. Raj could change the engagement angle. Now four siege tanks down. Raj going to go ahead and grab that third. But just having that shuttle out, potentially providing enough of a threat. This is how Karens tend to get slowed down as far as any aggression. But I think Tucson is going to play, never mind building a wraith to go ahead and engage that. I was going to say, I think he's going to drop an armory behind this and maybe grab a faster third instead gonna go ahead and go up to three factories he is dropping an armory behind this i want to say upgrade terran seems to be dead maybe because of this early reaver to kind of press and delay and get additional bases up a little bit more rapidly in response to it towards terran passivity five factory has kind of been a lot more standard and i want to point out i want to give credit to artosis where credit's due he's kind of pointed out that's kind of been the case kind of we're shifting into kind of a new meta space wraith misses the shuttle there's still siege tanks underneath 
I do like the Wraith as a counter to that, potentially, because you wipe out that shuttle and that Reaver threat early, and all of a sudden the map opens right back up. Four Factory, Five Factory in the mid game tends to be the Terran play, and then getting enough troops out to secure that third. Shuttle speed just about finished. A Photon Cannon in the main. In response, it looks like the natural expansion as well in response to that potential dropship play. Third base up, not yet saturated. But at least it's a third base. But Tucson are pretty... He's... Raj actually not in a bad position. I'm going to say he's within that 20 supply spot he wants to be. That Observer is going to see... Uh, it hasn't really gotten an information. This is a pretty healthy Siege Tank count. A lot of vultures being built underneath it, and I think this is just to get that attack trooping to move out and grab that third. Nice response time from Raj, last second moving that observer out of the way. The Dragoon's starting to peel forward with that shuttle. And there should be enough siege tanks to, to bully the rest of this back. It looks like the SCV getting caught here at the six o'clock, or sorry, the mines getting cleared at the six o'clock location. Raj piling in there, wants to make it as hard as possible to move into this. Although it uh, looks like the vultures are filtering out, taking a look at the 9 o'clock location rather than the expansion here at the 6. An initial drop and a little bit of a mind drag. That was some amazing zealot play. They dropped. Bye bye, Wraith. Dropped, got a couple shots on that vulture and then immediately able to scoop right back up into that shuttle. We do have that dropship making its way out. It looks like that's going to go unspotted. This could wreak maybe some havoc here at the 3 o'clock. But there are two cannons in play. Ends up negating a little bit of that in general. It's kind of you trade the vultures. The mines have been spotted to the north. The Dragoons moving out there and Raj has a smothering amount of troops now mid-map. In a pretty good position. The dropships ignoring the third, instead going for the main. They're going to be able to spot the gateway flood. Raj this time loses the dropship, able to get the vultures across the top, but that's going to pin the vultures in. Not some nice sim city, I got to say, from Raj to deal with dropships that are instead going to filter down to the natural expansion. Drop some mines to be annoying. Maybe get. Well, they're going to get some probes at least here before getting wiped out. So a little bit of slowdown, but honestly, not anything I think a Protoss is not expecting. So I kind of went around the math on that because it's like a drop ship, four vultures, and you get, what, four or five workers? I don't know that that ends up being worth it at the end of the day. Tucson in the meat, although what it does do is it buys you time to go ahead and get some macro behind this instead of having a Protoss in your face. Raj moving out, wanting to grab a third. Going to go ahead and take it to the 9 o'clock location. Sieging up pretty wide. Raj does have a shuttle with speed in between here. And a lot of Dragoons. I think he mostly wants to mirror the movements. And make sure he stays a couple bases up. Needs something to clear the mines, unfortunately. Top right. Let's see if he just suicides a Zealot up there. So recognizes the third base. Tucson already built it. Off corner. Down 30 supply. Does have plus one weapons, however, as he dropped a second armory. Just now dropping that second armory and getting the science facility in place. So a little bit slower on the upgrades this time. 30 supply lead from Raj. Raj in a pretty good macro position. Looks like he's going to use a cannon potentially to cl clear that top right. Observer moving forward. Is going to get wiped out, but sees the siege lines. And lets him know the positional play. It looks like currently it's gateway man for Raj. And he's got enough, honestly, of a supply lead right this second that it's potentially going to work out for him. Moving some zealots forward. Going across this middle gap. Doesn't have a lot of shuttles to go for the bombs. And there is a wraith and some goliaths to go ahead and interrupt that. But a big reaver drop doesn't get the initial shot off. That scarab could have been the difference in this attack here. But Raj still might have enough to pile drive through this. All the siege tanks getting wiped out between the natural expansion and Tucson's third base. Siege tank on the high ground is going to dissuade Raj from moving f forward, but still with the 30 supply lead and resetting that siege tank count, I'm going to call that a victory. 
He does need to get that third base, or as I should say the fourth base up and running ASAP, though. An SCV sneaking out for Tucson. Is he going to grab a naked fourth base himself, I wonder? Potential play from there. Dragoons getting pushed back by a siege tank that's covered from the high ground. Some more vultures mining midfield. But this is giving Raj some time to go ahead and resupply. It looks like he is just going to stick to Gateway Man and not adding in additional shuttles, which means his engagements need to be impeccable. Thus far, 30 supply lead. Some vultures did manage to sneak through the lines that could create some havoc in particular top right. Pylon's getting dropped to go ahead and box that probe in. The vultures maybe just wanting to hang out and box things out. The Zealot's trying to run in. The mine's clearing a good lot of them. And this is a nice encapsulation, honestly, from Tucson between these two bases. And this is a killing field now for Protoss. This is enough Zealots to stream up to the north, though, potentially. Reinforcements moving up. That 9, nine o'clock base now potentially at risk, though, to Roger's Dragoons. The siege tank's cleared out. And the command center being forced lifted off. We do have some siege tanks that looks like they just stopped and weren't able to reinforce a so Raj able to bully his way through through honestly I didn't feel like that was a great that was kind of just an A move maneuver through midfield but he had such a supply lead it didn't matter and that fourth base is up not yet saturated huge victory for Raj here going to be able to stop is that going to be a cancellation not canceled it looks like he managed to take those 400 resources away as well and Tucson all of a sudden down 40 supply and Raj reinforcing as if he's making the way back out to go ahead and land a zealot pocketing his way behind here one vulture d is going to go ahead and check top right a probe is heading that direction to go ahead and continue because the main mind out single zealot is going to be late to go ahead and save that probe what could be a big turnaround situation is if there's th this situation right here. If the probes get transferred directly to the third, or I should say the fourth. And in that process, these vultures kill absolutely everything as they're making their way across. And it looks like that might be the scenario here. So big win there for Tucson. Got a lot of workers. And it doesn't look like Raj caught it on alert either. So much smaller saturation on point. That is going to hurt Raj's economy. Third base up. And we got a sneaky base top left. Some vultures streaming forward. Able to pick off High Templar. But Raj continuing again. We have a few High Templar here. But still mostly gateway units. And I'm not even seeing a single side storm out yet. Yeah, Rod just shoving his way in. But going to have to back off now. It doesn't look like it was enough. Supply count's dangerously close. And Tucson feeling like he won that engagement convincingly enough that he's actually going to chase the remainder of this army down. Plus two weapons, plus one armor up, by the way. For Tucson. So resieging mid-map. We do have a Nexus drop here at the 6 o'clock. That was brave from Raj. And Tucson, honestly, in a situation where at the close reinforcement point, he could probably just move in vultures as an afterthought to take out the six o'clock. This is also going to provide, I think, sufficient defense and distraction to defend that upper left-hand corner. The main is mined out for Tucson, however. And the vultures are... are do they see the six o'clock is the next question. I want to check Tucson's vision here. I'm not sure that he spotted that six o'clock base. Might have presumed there was another expansion someplace else. Tucson moving back out. He does need... Or say, I should say Raj moving back out. He does need to engage Tucson. Tucson moving. It looks like some SCVs top left. Not going to get spotted. More probes getting hit by those vultures. Absolutely obliterating. And that's really going to short circuit. Gateway Man works when you have a stronger economy. And you're able to just keep that economic role going the moment you start losing workers and you can't keep your 
economy lines rolling is when Terran starts ending up with supply leads and that's when you end up in trouble. Is Tucson gonna, he finds the six now. A cannon warping in and again, I feel like it's an easy maneuver to flood some vultures and he can do exactly this, push the vultures, uh, the vultures at the six, engage, and if there's any sort of defensive play, just move back to the defensive siege tank lines. In the meantime, speed shuttle making its way up. Raj recognizes the threat of that possibility. Able to get a drop, hasn't dropped the High Templar yet. High Templar getting picked off as it's unloaded, however. Workers are gonna be able to get to the six o'clock underneath this, but that's gonna be a donated army from Raj. And I haven't seen a single size storm this entire time. Massive army supply lead now for Tucson, and that's GG from Raj recognizing he wasn't gonna be able to hold the six and maybe would have gotten rolled at his main base. So Tucson with an early game victory. I think if Raj is going to try to continue to play the gateway man style, it is not going to work against Tucson. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.